Involute of a hexagon. In this video, we will learn how to draw an involute for a hexagon. What does the involute of a hexagon mean? Consider this hexagonal shape has a string bound on it. When this string unwound from this hexagon, the imaginary path is traced by the endpoint of the string. The path traced while unwinding is called the involute of this hexagon. Here are the instructions. Draw an involute of a hexagon of sides 25 mm. In this question, the length of the sides of the hexagon is given as 25 mm. This means each side of the hexagon is 25 mm long. To draw this hexagon, we need to know the angle made by its sides. These outer angles made by each side can be calculated using this equation. Angle theta is equal to 360 degrees divided by n. Here, n is the total number of sides of this polygon. Since this is a hexagon, a total of six sides are present. Therefore, 360 degrees are divided by six, which will be equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, each angle is 60 degrees. Let's draw this hexagon. The length of all the sides is 25 millimeters. Take a ruler and draw a horizontal line having a length of 25 millimeters or 2.5 centimeters. Name this line as 1 and 6. Next, we need to draw a line having a 60 degree inclination and 25 millimeters length. Keep the protractor here. Like this. Mark 60 degrees from this line. Using this point as a reference, draw a line of 25 millimeters in length. Similarly, draw other sides. Keep the protector here at this line. Mark a point at 60 degrees and draw a line of 25 millimeters in length from this line. Next, keep it here at this line. Mark a point at 60 degrees and draw a line of 25 millimeters in length from this line. Next, keep it here at this line. Mark a point at 60 degrees and draw a line of 25 millimeters in length from this line. At last, join these points. This is our hexagon having 25 millimeters sides. Mark these points as 2, 3, 4, and 5. After this, we need to consider an initial point. We will consider this point as the initial point. Mark this point as P. After this, we need to extend the lines from each of these points. Take a ruler and extend lines from each of these points. When the string unwound from the hexagon and reaches here, its length will be this much. Mark this length on this line. But how to get this length? To get this length, we already know each side of the hexagon is 25 millimeters, and there are six sides. Therefore, this length will be 6 times 25, which will be equal to 150 millimeters or 15 centimeters. After this, we need to divide this line into six parts. There are six equal sides for this polygon. That's why we are dividing this line into six equal parts. If there were some other numbers of sides, then we would have divided this line into those many numbers. Take a compass, take this length between points 1 and P and using P as the center, cut an arc on this line. Likewise, divide this line into six parts. Mark these points as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, and 6 dash. When we unwound the string from this hexagon, when the string reaches this line, the endpoint of the string will be here. When the string reaches this line, the endpoint will be here, and so on. To draw an involute, we need to get these points. Take this distance from point P to 1 dash. Using this point 1 as a center, mark an arc. Mark this point as P1. Next, take this distance from point P to 2 dash. Using this point 2 as a center, mark an arc. 
Mark this point as P2. Take this distance from point P to 3 dash. Using this point 3 as a center, mark an arc. Mark this point as P3. Similarly, take this distance from point P to 4 dash. Using this point 4 as a center, mark an arc. Mark this point as P4. Take this distance from point P to 5 dash. Using this point 5 as a center, mark an arc. Mark this point as P5. And the final P6 point will be at 6 dash. Since we got all the required points, now we can join all these points to get the required involute. Next, let's draw a normal and a tangent to this curve. Consider if we want to mark a tangent and a normal at this point M. Join this M point to point P. This line will be our normal. Draw a perpendicular line to this normal. This will be the tangent to the curve. The important point to remember, if we want to mark normal and tangent on this curve, for marking tangent and normal at any point for this section of the arc, we will join a line from this point to this point. Similarly, for this section of the curve, the opposite point will be this, for this section, the opposite point will be this, and so on. I hope you have understood how to draw an involute of a hexagon. If you like this video click on the like button, and support my work by sharing this video with your friends. If you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications to get all my future videos.